Hi, I'm Dwayne Thomas from VisualLatin.com, and today I'm here to help you achieve higher scores on standardized tests. But not the math section. Can't help you with that. There are three kinds of people in the world. Those who are good at math, and those who aren't. I can't help you with the math section, but I can help you with the words, because I've been teaching Latin for a long time. So what does that have to do with English words on standard tests? Well, I'll tell you what. Our language is 50% Latin. That's a lot. 50% Latin. However, even better, on those tests, they're going to throw big words at you, multi-syllable words. They're going to try to trip you up with hard words. Did you know that 90% of our multi-syllable big hard words come from Latin? 90%. So if you know the roots uh, and the prefixes in Latin, then you can look at an English word and you can tear it apart and figure out basically what that word means. Let me give an example. Look at this sentence. The boa constrictor interrupted the regicide with a convivial retort. Okay, you may not know what that sentence means. By the end of this video, you will. Let's break these words down. Look at constrictor. Constrictor comes from two Latin words, con or cum, and strictus. Now, uh, let me come back to strictus in a minute. Con or cum means with, and that's where we get lots of words, words like constrictor, <laughs> and company, and companion, and construction, and contract, and on and on and on. All of those words um, use the prefix con, which means with. Strictus means to tie or bind. There's another way to say it. You could also say stringo in Latin. Stringo is where we get the word string, which is what we use to tie or bind things, which is what it means. Strictus. So a boa constrictor is a snake that constricts or uses, uh, it kills its victims with tying or with constricting or with binding. He interrupted the regicide of the king. Uh, he interrupted the regicide, sorry, with a convivial retort. I kind of gave a little bit of boy. Um, interrupted. Take a look at interrupted. Inter in Latin is a prefix. It means between. And ruptus is a Latin root word that means break. Inter means, uh, and to interrupt, incidentally, is to break in to someone's conversation. They're talking, and you break in, which is rude, unless it's an emergency. Like there's a comet heading towards your house, and your parents are standing there talking about the new sofa. Interrupt them. <laughs> That's bad. In fact, that inter galactic comet is going to wreak international disaster on our planet. So you have to interrupt them. Anyway, if that ever happens to you, happened to me once when I was 14. Not really. The boa constrictor interrupted the regicide with a convivial retort. What in the world is regicide? Let's look at this. Again, two Latin words. Rege means king, side or sedere means to kill. So what's regicide? To kill the king. That's easy. Uh, from rege, we get words like regal and regent. Both have to do with re, uh, ruling. But also, another way of saying king in Latin is rex. And that's where we get T-rex, Tyrannosaurus rex. Um, side, sedere, means to kill. And that's where we get homicide, to kill a man. Um, herbicide, to kill plants insecticide to kill insects. I don't really have a problem with that one, depending on the insect. Germicide to kill germs. Fratricide to kill your brother. That's sad. Nero, the emperor of Rome, did that. Matricide to kill your mother. That one's strange. Nero, the emperor of Rome, did that. Uh, genocide to try to kill a whole tribe. Nero, emperor of Rome, did that. Regicide, oh no, suicide. Nero tried to do that one, but he thought he was too good of a musician or artist, and he didn't have the courage to do it. So one of his slaves committed regicide and did it for him, since he couldn't commit suicide. Suus means yourself. So you can see where all these words come from um, that have to do with killing. We attach them on the end of different words, and we create new words. Uh, so the boa constrictor interrupted the regicide of the king with a convivial retort. What is convivial? Con, we've already talked about. It means with. 
vivus or vivo in Latin means live. So it has something to do with living, or it can also mean alive, or maybe even lively. And that's what convivial means here. Lively, jovial, happy, cheerful, enjoying being around your friends. That's convivial. So this snake that wraps its victims up stopped the killing of the king by doing something convivial, cheerful, happy, maybe funny. Uh, enjoyable. What did he do? Well, he retorted. What's a retort? I think I pronounced that wrong. But anyway, what's a retort? R-E, re in Latin means back or again. That's where we get return, to turn back. Refund, to fund somebody's money back. Repeat, to repeat. Repeat, to repeat. Repeat. I'm just kidding. Anyway, all of it means to do it again or to turn something back. Well, uh, what's retort then? Tortus in Latin means to turn. It's, re uh, it's related to the word tornado. Tornadoes turn. Uh, it's also related to the word torque. Um, when you're talking about engines, it has to do with turning. A retort is a clever turning or a, cre uh, a clever response. So somebody, some guy comes up to you and makes fun of you. One time a friend of mine came up to me and he said, hey, I like that sweater. Uh, if you wear it long enough, it'll come back in style. And I was embarrassed and I stared at him for a little while. And then I said, hey, I like those shoes. Do they sell men's clothes where you bought them? And all my friends laughed. It was a retort. And actually he liked me more after that. It was kind of funny. We became very good friends after that. But anyhow, that was a retort. Well, this boa constrictor interrupted the killing of the king with a cheerful, happy, jovial response, which, by the way, response comes from re, but a clever retort. Look, that's just one example with five or six different words of how you can create hundreds of Latin or of English words using Latin roots. And I guarantee you, you're going to see those on standardized tests. It's one of the favorite tricks of those guys. Learn these roots score higher. If you really want to go deep, I teach Latin as well. You can check it out, visuallatin.com.